Welcome to What's On with Andrea Fetchko, breaking down some of the most interesting stories that have come across our stations this week. It is the first week of May in 2023, a lot to celebrate, uh, warm weather, Mayflowers, and Star Wars. May the 4th is Star Wars Day because may the 4th be with you. And uh, what better way to celebrate than with everyone's favorite character? No, Jar Jar Binks. Think I'm joking? No. <laughs> Meet Mish Ouellette from Portland, Maine, who got his two foot tall back tattoo of Jar Jar Binks a few years ago by local artist Chris Dingwell. How, why you ask? Yes, alcohol was involved when he came up with the idea, but he said he was 100% sober for the three seven hour sessions it took to tattoo the uh, controversial character. What's more controversial, Mish said he prefers the prequels to the new trilogy and his Jar Jar tattoo over his two Star Wars sleeves. One arm is dedicated to the dark side and the other side to the light side. So while others celebrate Star Wars with donuts, Mish from Maine takes the force to a new level. For more stories like this, go to WGME in Maine. Nightmare at the local amusement park. Dun, dun, dun. And by nightmare, I mean nightmare scenario for a 13 year old at Carowinds in Charlotte. According to WLOS North Carolina, a 13 year old got lured over to the Cosmic XL bonus game, a claw machine, and decided to do what 13 year old boys do test the limits. He climbed in, lured by the sweet, sweet opportunity for a massive amount of inexpensive stuffed animals, and didn't have a backup plan stuck inside the claw machine. So now not only did it cost his family a figurative arm and a leg to buy tickets to the theme park, now their son may need to lose an actual arm and a leg to get out of the claw machine. Luckily, the medical team was called before any chainsaws were deployed and 17 long minutes later, the team was free. He didn't get the stuffed animals, but he did get a good story. And isn't that what being a teenager is all about? Embarrassing yourself so that you will laugh about it Eventually. <laughs> for more news for North Carolina, go to WLOS. Kyle, Kyle, calling all the Kyles everywhere. Mark your calendars. On Sunday, May 21st, you need to go to Kyle, Texas, a suburb of Austin, Texas, to break the Guinness World Record for the largest gathering of people with the same name. This will be the fourth time the Kyles have come together to break the record, and they are making sure the fourth time is a charm with a Kyle Fair. Yes, a weekend festival of ribs, Rita's, carnival rides, and a massive musical lineup. You don't need to be named Kyle to get into the fair, but there is one rule. You cannot come in Lady Gaga's meat dress. Yes, this is according to the website. <laughs> and what name currently holds the official record? The meeting of the Ivans in Bosnia Herzegovina in 2017, who gathered a whopping 2,325 Ivans. So if you or someone you know is legally named Kyle, get on down to Texas at the end of May to be a part of history and check out CBS Austin for more on that story. And for more interesting local stories, download the news on app to your phone or TV.